Hello, bienvenue, welcoming. Yeah, we're I'm in... excited. It's been a long time since I got to do a cannon fire. I know, I know, right? And it's almost been just as long for me. Even longer for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time since we've had you, Vinny. Yeah, no. Well, since I've had you. Ages. It's Ages. been a long time Ages. since I've had you in, you know, in a provocative it's like, way. It's not like we talked about Twin Peaks at length last episode. Which was recorded earlier today. I didn't want to give that away, Adrian. Yeah. I was just implying. <laughs> when will that, that be that uploaded? Things. Are you guys getting headphone, like audio headphones? Yeah. I'm not getting shit. I am, but it's really clippy. Hello? Oh, there it is. Okay. Maybe that headphone sucks. Yeah, it was, no, this one is silenced, so I couldn't hear anything. I was in the dark. I'm sorry. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Cannon Fire. Um, I'm here with Adrian. Well, are we still Cannon Fire? Yeah. Okay, because our channel's Fan Freaks now. Right, right, right. But that's the YouTube channel because that's the one that I want to upload everything relating to Fan Freaks. Okay. And when I tell people, look me up on Facebook, is you know, the mm. Facebook group is Fan Freaks. And they're like, yeah, I tried looking you up on, on YouTube because that's where your podcast is. And yeah. I'm like, no, 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 the podcast is Cannon Fire. And they're like, but then why is your group called Fan Freaks? And then yeah. your channel's Cannon Fire. Why? Why can't you do... One name instead of two names. Two names is too much. Do one name. It's because the name of the podcast is Cannon Fire, and I get that. But it's like we're mixing our branding, you know? I mean, to be fair, <laughs> our branding is kind of small. Well, that's what we are. We're a niche brand. We're a niche. I like how you t you take partial ownership. You're so aggressive. Um, I say niche. we because I'm trying to be positive here, but fine. You're a niche brand. You're right. Adrian. <laughs> you. I, solely you. I am okay. niche. Are you happy with that? I hope you're happy. No, no. I, I like it when you take charge, Daddy. Okay. Well, all right. Call for help. Welcome to the show. Call for help. <laughs> yeah, that's something we neglected to do last episode. Hopefully, we can sneak those in. Um, <laughs> Mr. So, Jackpots. So, all right. Uh, really quick, let's Thank break you. down the news because you got me and I'm the news guy, apparently. Uh, Batman oh, help. is, we don't know who's going to play Batman anymore because Ben Affleck left the role that we all knew he was going to leave right after Justice League. Coffee. <laughs> right. Anyway, uh, also Warner Brothers has confirmed right now that they are not working on a Batman Beyond animated uh, film. There was a rumor a while back that that's what was happening and everyone was losing their, their proverbial minds. Why did they drop? Batman Beyond so much like does that not get any play was it solely just an animated show did it have a comic yeah run? it, is. it, does, it have does have a comic run it still has a comic run okay because like that's such a great world why would you leave I mean it it's, st it's still being written and okay. they even did a, a side book of it called Justice League 3000 oh wait, wait yeah because well, isn't there in the animated Justice League show they even visit Terry in an episode yeah so it's like, at least they visit it in other shows. Yeah, but that know? was the great Timverse, which mm. we'll never get again. He, Ooh, what a shame. Um, I want Leonardo DiCaprio. As Batman? As Batman Beyond. Oh, Batman. Uh, old okay. man Batman. Uh, <laughs> lastly, Aquaman made more money than any DC property, even Batman. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, the what? DCEU is officially dead. It's because... almost like if you take yourself too seriously, your movie sucks. Yeah. Uh, DCEU is officially dead, considering uh, a couple interviews with the new heads of the DC executives. They said, we're going to focus on character-driven stories, and we're going to let the directors do what they want. They don't have to be beholden to a universe. They can do whatever they want with the films they want. All right. And it is widely considered that uh, from now on, it is just solo film franchises type of thing. They won't connect. We won't see another Justice but, League for but, a no, no. while. For a while. Uh, we well, are getting a Super Pets movie. Why neglect yourself, though? Why limit yourself saying, all right, you know what? We're doing too many of this kind of, kind of movie. We're just never going to do it again. You know? Because it didn't work. I get that, but it's because and it then, didn't work because you did too much of it. Right. You know? But they want to... Considering how Aquaman made this much money and how Wonder Woman made this much money and then their Justice League movie made so little money... They want to focus right now on that. Right. We're getting a The Suicide Squad, which is going to be written and directed. James Gunn. Yep, James Gunn is going to do it, which... Uh, it's not try sequel. again, even though it's not even that far from the last one. Considering George hated Guardians 2 but loved Guardians 1, hit or miss uh, regarding James Gunn. 
we have as long as it doesn't keep oh. piling 80s references in my face and being really obvious with your villains i'm second uh, one was terrible by the way uh suicide squad not gonna have will smith oh no it, it is he was such a vital part of this shit. it is movie. only gonna have uh viola davis uh, returning as Amanda Waller, oh, and of was, course Margot good. Robbie as Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn's gonna be in three films for the next three years. If I had to say which character accurately felt like the the original portray uh, portrayal, she did a great job as Amanda Waller. That she, I can't honestly, I can't think of other characters that would play that role. And right. Margot Robbie, knock a good it Harley, out. I guess you know. Yeah. So why not? Um, just please, no more, no more Joker. That's we, we we just no one wants that. Joker. So far, we don't we know anything about Jared Leto. Everyone this is considered knows. a soft reboot. But can I? Can I thought I he's still up? doing a, a Joker movie with Margaret Robbie. No, that was um, that was a, a rumor that we're having Joker versus Harley. Oh. oh, but we don't know anything right now because that was always a rumor. Okay, you're saying that they're focusing on more <laughs> individualized stories. Yes, sir. Okay, that's fine, and I'm all supportive of that. But them adding a statement saying we're not going to connect them, we're going to make sure we don't. Unless no, no, no. To Unless the director no, no, no. wants to connect. Way? No, no, it's depending on the director. That's that's what I'm trying to say. Okay. They want to let the director decide what they want to. They're do. not forcing it. Exactly. Because okay. then you have like an EA situation where it's like, okay, Dead Space three, we fucked up by adding too much of this. You guys don't want survival horror. Got it. We won't do it ever again. It's like the company misreading the, what the audience wants by having an all or nothing approach. Right. You know? Um, and lastly, Alita Battle Angel will be Fox's last release. As far I thought as they we were know. doing uh, X-Men Phoenix. Well, to be fair, some people are thinking it's not even going to release because it is so, like, it's tested very poorly. Really? Yeah. they Like, people are comparing it to X-Men 3. Which, funnily enough, people like to shit on that. I think X Men Three was better than Suicide Squad and Justice League. That's true. So I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean. Like on the overall scale of things, that. was X Men Three? It was bad, but was it that bad? I mean, in hindsight, no. In hindsight, considering no. worse has come out. <laughs> exactly yeah. right. Worse has come out. We're in, so jaded. By I've this seen point. worse movies. Um, I'll watch the prequels again. I don't but care also, <laughs> also the New Mutants. We don't even know if that's gonna come out either. Yeah, no, that's oh. Fuck. Fuck, that was actually one uh, I was a horror. Little, that's the horror one. Right. I was, I was Which they want to change from horror. Yeah. That's why I pushed back because they're doing reshoots. To God not. forbid we have a new style here. Like, a new style superhero. Uh, but lastly, Alita Battle oh, Angel bombing $200 million. Uh, at least that's the estimate. And it is, let me check, it is 49% rotten on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, okay, so each time I never wanted to see it. Every time Adrian brings it up and says its name, I have like a stink face. It's because I think of that face and the weird eyes. They're Apparently, so... it's an anime. Uh, yeah, it's an no, anime manga. Okay, sure, but I'm getting really upset with people who do anime adaptations and they translate the anime art style into everyone's got to have big eyes. Could be worse. Could be Ghost in the Shell with uh, Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, but you know what Ghost in the Shell didn't do? It didn't make her eyes huge to simulate the anime-ness. That's true. Mm. There was no, like, anime robot. That's what this is. And it feels like Jupiter Ascending, but with anime robots. I caught my dad watching that I bet. I, oh, God. I bet the manga of, uh, of Alita is actually really damn good. I, I heard. I'm not, I don't know anything about this story. But from what I've seen in the trailer, it feels like Jupiter Ascending. And that effect of her eyes being huge is really distracting. Like, it's just off. Why can't you make a normal person? It's not even that. Like, if you want to do crazy futuristic eyes, sure. But it's like, she's an almost um, idealized design. Like, she's really petite with huge eyes. It's, it's like the watching an anime and then there's that that little Lolita character. Oh, sister. In. It's what I feel like. Yeah. That this is a movie about that. Nanako. I'm like, uh, and But, you know, I don't want to. Yeah. I like Nanako, but I don't like Nanako. <laughs> Adrian, any any input? I never wanted to see it. I thought it was pretty crap. This is a trailer. I mean, I could be wrong, bro. I've been wrong on trailers before, you know? I mean, it happens. It all depends on the movie itself. I just... You, the trailer is not done by the directors. It's done by the marketing team. My yeah, but you can't but, really... But just, but just it's, a, it's aesthetic. And... What, Blade Runner? I love Blade Runner aesthetic. No, no, no. I'm fine <laughs> with that aesthetic, but... I will fight it you. It felt more like a David Cage thing. Oh, God. 
if you think about it. Oh. It looked like just Detroit become human. But uh, where where the, the anime the, where the nice old man takes the girl and says, You're so much more than you can be, why don't you paint? Yeah, Pinocchio. Alright, no, okay. Hold on. I'm a real boy. I can't believe we just made a comparison and made David Cage look subtle. <laughs> like how in the fuck did we pull that off? Uh, for those so that good. don't know, David subtle Cage person, uh, right. did Quantum Prophecy, I believe it was. Quantum Theory. No, Quantum Theory is his company. Yeah, but what's that first game? Indigo where, Prophecy. Indigo okay, Prophecy. Yeah. Uh, he did the, Heavy Rain. Heavy Rain, which I actually really liked. Uh, Your first time through. Yes. Go back, try again, see how you feel about it. No, no, no. I never want to play <laughs> that game, game again. fucking lies to you. I never want to play that game again. I know there was like a trophy mm. where you have to do all the different endings, but I never want to do it again. The only thing I ever want to do is rewatch that Sean glitch. Yeah, Sean! 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 I love that one. Sean! Um, oh, those games fall apart. I they know. do. Play they it's do. But it's so much fun. How are we doing on time? Uh, 11 minutes. Damn. I thought I could do it in seven. Nope. Seven minutes. Excuse me. Seven minutes is all I've got to spare with you. Oh, trying to do my voice, are you? Oh, I miss yeah. it. Quite delicious. Vinny. Uh, I'm not in this game. How's Immortal Hulk doing? It's good right now. He's just... dead. <laughs> Immortal. Dead. You Immortally know, dead. No, he, he was doing pretty good. They had a crazy arc with the Absorbing Man recently. Absorbing Man doesn't get enough play. No, I, he's really good. He's really underrated as a villain. But yeah. it's Peter like, Creel but they is stuck really with the whole body horror thing where, uh, spoiler alert, uh, uh, the Absorbing Man's body kind of like split in half, but his spine and skull is still standing up. Oh, that's dope. And it's like blood tentacles coming out yeah, of his my, body. My favorite superhero is SpongeBob too. Because <laughs> yeah, uh, he, he, uh, he absorbed the Red Hulk. So he he's half Red Hulk, half Absorbing Man right now. How does he absorb? Is he like Blob? Well, no. What he does is he he takes something and he absorbs. It's you know like he absorbs this. He becomes all wood. Oh, so it's like Snake's um camo suit, the Octo Got, camo. Yes. So he touches uh, it and he just becomes that. That was something I actually really liked in MGS five or four that no one really touched. Adrian, hmm? you on your phone, bro? Sorry, a bunch of arguments are happening right now involving me. Tell them I'm doing a podcast so cool. and I'll argue with it's, you later. It's an abortion argument. Th that's an argument you leave because <laughs> that's that, that's that's not mentioned that here. That's not even that is. I like you. how you guys are telling me what to do on the podcast because, <laughs> because that's to a touchy something. subject. We're trying to have people. Yeah, I, I do like to get touched. Adrian, what what happened to the camo, the octo camo from four? It blew up. Snake had the only one. It died in Arsenal gear. Why did they never bring it back? Because Metal Gear Solid Five wasn't set. In yeah, but Nano I know. Shut up. But you know what? That didn't stop them from having hologram walkie talkies and that thing he scans the papers with. Right, right. The iDroid. Who's to say Big Boss didn't have a secret Octo Camo suit? That's where they got the idea from. The I don't Octo care the Patriots. The, the <laughs> Octo Camo was created by Otacon. I know, but what if Otacon got it from somewhere? Ooh. Oh, you mean Huey, his dad? Yeah, who worked with. This works. This could still work. Oh, uh, yeah, funny the, enough, the, the, the last <laughs> the last PS3 games uh, for Plus is this month, and one of them is Metal Gear Solid 4: Guns of the Patriots. Oh, really? For MGS3? Yeah, that was. I a, mean, um, for I, PS3, sorry. Yeah, for PS3, that was actually a really good uh, subconscious reference. Segway. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. You're getting Jesus. better at this radio thing. Jesus, who would have thought? Um. Okay. That's crazy because I got five free for a PS Plus. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you can get four, four now for free for a PS Plus. Yeah, and it's the last uh, for PS3 and Vita. I still say the best purchase you can make for that series is that PS3 collection disc with everything in it. Yeah, it I was agree. The best thing I done. It was everything. Yeah, it was every game that I wanted, including the NES games. And, Me and Metal Gear MG1, MG2. Yeah. I don't know, it's pretty ridiculous. Which I can't beat for the life of me. I, I tried. Hate I hate those games. <laughs> like I, they I are. Don't know, I, I always feel asleep. Feet. Okay. Fell asleep? No. No, no, it's the way they're written sometimes. It's a line in the game. Oh. When you wait for the guard to fall asleep, he goes, I feel, I feel asleep. <laughs> <laughs> he goes to sleep. It's a, it's a classic line, just like all your base belong to us. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, we're on 15 minutes. And how are we doing? We're doing three segments? Don't touch me, motherfucker. X go give it to you. Fuck wait for you to get it on your own. X go deliver to you. Knock knock, open up the door to spill. With the non-stop pop out from stainless steel. I'll go hard getting busy with it. But I got such a good heart that I make the motherfucker wonder if you can. 
I find it hysterical that you're against Shaggy being in Mortal Kombat 11, but you're fine with a mod for X going to give it to you when Mr. X shows up. Of did course. You, did you just compare a mod for a game versus a That's literal stupid. fucking DLC character? <laughs> Not even a DLC character. It's Is a this meme. the comparison you're fucking making right now? Zoinks, man. Like, <laughs> X going to give it to you. Don't even start with me. Like, I'm fine with Especially mods. Especially with the two Mr. X's mo uh, 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 glitch. The glitch. That's amazing. But oh, look, my God. I'm fine with a mod for Shaggy to be in Mortal Kombat. That is a, mo a mod. Okay. <laughs> Not the actual. I don't need a fucking character slot wasted by Shaggy because lol the internet thought it was funny. Uh, What's was, next? Ugandan Knuckles? I was, I, I, was, I, was, I was excited when Ed Boon said no. This is <laughs> Yeah. I, I, he said no, but people are gonna mod him. Dude, I bet you anything he says no and he'll still be in the game. Because <laughs> Boon's a troll though. Boone will say when, no, uh, Shaggy anything. was Scorpion's costume. I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt there's gonna be like, a Like, uh, get over here, man. <laughs> like, get over here. Sub Zero, I'm gonna defeat you. <laughs> um, so what, you suck. So it's been one week. No, it's one been week. Uh, what is it? Five days? Six days since? Uh, Twenty-five. No, it's years. been actually a week. A week since uh, our E2 came out. Yeah, and I've only beaten the first campaign. Right, uh, Leon. Yes, I have been playing Leon A. I'm still on Leon A. Uh, what mode? What mode of difficulty are you playing? Oh, normal. Buddy? Normal. Standard. All right. And uh, obviously, if you haven't checked out the stream, you definitely should. Of Bone uh, King TV. He, you are putting up bits and pieces of it on your YouTube, right? I, I've literally been putting daily episodes. It's almost the full first playthrough is already almost up there. If you want, I'm gonna say it here. If you wanna like take like highlights and put like link to your YouTube and put it on. Fan freaks, you could do that as well. Yeah, I was thinking of doing a highlight reel, but I gotta go through the footage and find the best parts for that. Yeah, please include your reaction to Mr. X showing. Up. Oh my god, because that, that that's gold. Mr. I X is I terrifying. I want to do like make that a GIF reaction and use it in threads. You don't understand, because like that, I was prepared for a lot of things. And when Mr. X shows up, especially on hardcore, your entire mindset has to reset. You've got to go, all right, I don't have the ammo for this area. I'm going to go run now. Like, you have to adapt. And at that point, I paused the game. It was just like, let me think and just <laughs> fell backwards for a second. It really wasn't a face of like, oh, no, it was a face of, oh, I got to think. Hold on. <laughs> really, really quick for anybody who's doing hardcore standard and having a difficult time with Mr. X. If he's going through a door, you can run through that door and get away. It'll grant you another extra 15 seconds. Yeah, have fun getting closer to him, though. Assuming that, like, you aren't running away from him, and as he's opening the door, you're running towards it, and, like, the animation's <laughs> just, just in just, time for him to punch no, you No, but it, you can play with it. You yeah, can, yeah. You can play with it. Not it's, on hardcore. <laughs> it's really difficult. Also, Leon, when you're in the, uh, the jail part, and the zombies all come out or whatever, go all the way to the left, open that shutter. Whoa, 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 what, what are you doing? I'm trying to... Okay, sorry about that. Um, yeah, apologies, we, uh, maybe uh, ladies and germs. That was uh, that was on moi. Uh, it, we kind of almost uh, stepped into a spoiler before we gave the spoiler warning, and we talked about it for a second. But call, we're gonna go straight into help. it. Yeah, call for help. We're gonna go straight into the spoiler so we can just get into it without this situation. So um, okay. also uh, apologies to to Vinny who hasn't finished it and George who hasn't finished Claire B. Right, so there's, I mean, there's some I mean, spoiler stuff that I mean I would appreciate not talking about. Mainly just the, the, the Claire surprises ending segments. And, yes. I, if something changes, like I have no idea yet. But in terms of, I'll tell you where I am. How about that? Maybe that'll help you. So that way, yeah. I beat all of Leon. I'm up to Claire meeting Annette. The first time. The first time. Okay. Vinny, where are you? Oh, I'm uh, I'm getting the chess pieces. Oh my God, no, we're at the same part. I literally just got all the chess pieces. I'm, I'm, oh, but you're at the Claire part. He's at the, the Leon, Leon one. Yeah. So, like, I I'm, I got all the chess pieces. I'm about to walk into the door and presumably run into Annette. All right. Because that's who Ada ran into, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, overall, your your initial reactions. Uh, Vinny, I don't... Uh, okay. If you don't mind me uh, holding off on you, George. Vinny, uh, when I first met you, uh, this was crazy. I gave you my number so you could call me maybe. 
Uh, but when I first met you, I didn't really catch you as like a like a hardcore Resident Evil fan. I'm not hardcore. I played the main number titles, but I, I mean, compared to George, I'm not as hardcore. No. No, how no, long no. have I known Vinny? How long have I known you for? Vinny? Ten years. Now keep that in mind. For ten years, I'm playing all these Resident Evil games. He's my best friend. Who am I going to invite over to play these games? Exactly. Right. 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 And uh, I mean, I I like the plot. I like the lore. I like the whole, you know government conspiracies or corporations i might have contributed to some of the fandomism yeah i might have but could it be <laughs> that this game it's is a, a reference to aliens i saw his video another video of his because he was one of the only people who talked that's about where's the, barry right where's, where's barry i'm sorry for shit talking this channel but his delivery just fucking irks me every time because he won't even like, even if he's saying something legit, he makes it sound so sensationalized. It bothers me. He was wearing brown boxers. <laughs> they will be releasing PlayStation 1 models of the characters. Could this be... A remake. A re-release of Resident Evil 2. It's like, oh my god, just stop. Just stop. Just say thank you for the costumes, Capcom. Bye. For me, the, <laughs> the best uh, Resident Evil YouTuber, aside from George, is uh, Residents of Evil. Residents of Evil does a great job. I agree. Yeah. So does um, uh, the other dude. Avalanche. Avalanche, yes. Yeah, but he only did a retrospective on all the games. Yeah, and he did. Max Payne was pretty good, too. I haven't seen the Max Payne one yet. He, he, <laughs> those are long. So mm -hmm. I, I want to save he, that. He really likes Max Payne. I mean, I do too. I, I adore the games, except three. But I adore <laughs> the games. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but uh, now, George, mm -hmm. your initial reactions. Did it live up to your hype? So I would like to start this out because I've been thinking about how to say this, right? Obviously, I have a lot to talk about, and I don't want to bore people. I feel like Resident Evil 2 Remake does what Resident Evil 4 tried to do. Resident Evil 4 tried, look, wait, let me, let I'm me trying to, I'm it's trying a good to, sequel don't, don't to Resident Evil 7. No, it's not even that yet. Think about, you're making Resident Evil 4. You yeah. have the original series, one, two, and three, and Code Veronica, let's, yeah, whatever. The traditional gameplay, right? Code Veronica is the real three, though. Someone, yeah, but, but stay with me here. Um, Someone at Capcom had to go, we have to update this formula for the modern platforms. And right, that's the third person No shooters. more fixed camera angles, yada, right. yada, yada, yada. So what I think RE2 Remake does is it accurately translates classic gameplay into third person without sacrificing the atmosphere, the tension, and not making it an action fest. Like, it still keeps the gameplay, but keeps the Resident Evil 4 perspective. It, it, see, Resident Evil 4 tried doing that, but it ended up becoming really actiony towards the end, and mm -hmm. honestly, the gameplay was so good, no one cared. But this is the proper translation, I feel. Rather than not like having a really secure 100% accuracy in the originals, they balanced that with having the enemies just have a lot of health now. So it's like you're still having to back up and line your shots, and it's a little different, I know, but this is as close as we're gonna get to the classic RE gameplay systems. This is like RE7, but with the third person camera. I I kind of see where you're coming from because this is definitely scarier than four. This it, is it, yeah. way scary. The like for me the scariest- Four is an action movie. The Yes. But that village, like with the chainsaw guy. Yeah. Right, but or as I called him Chainsaw Charlie. When that dude showed up, that shit my pants. Right, but everyone says the same thing, and I agree with you. So did I. But that's because it's the beginning of the game. You have a pistol, and you just picked up a shotgun. That's the, it. The game and, and the village swarms, and then after that, oh, where'd they all go? Bingo. And yeah. It, yeah, and by that point, you're building an arsenal, and the game's pacing is not Resident Evil pacing. And that's why I really liked it when I was Leon, and I got to the lab. I felt like that feeling of, this is the final area. I feel like this is the lab in a Resident Evil game. I'm getting that finality when I approach you. You know, I did, I did miss a lab. We haven't had a lab in a while, have we? I, RE7, I feel like was supposed to have a lab, but they cut it out and put it in Not a Hero. Yeah, they did. Because you have Not a Heroes. The lab is there. That's yeah. why it's free. Because it's like such a short DLC too. It's like an hour. Why? You know what I feel like? I'm glad happen? it was free though. I, I feel like this is what I, I think they wanted to do. But Capcom was too scared and didn't and felt like people would hate on the ending. I think you were supposed to leave as Ethan. Like Ethan was supposed to leave, and Chris continues for the final chapter to like end things with Lucas or whatever. Because it wouldn't make sense for Ethan to go back in there. What? It's personal? 
No, he's he wants Chris, to fucking leave Chris with Mia. Go big. That's go all ahead. he cares about. Right. So we like, actually had that 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 choice there in the middle, like not the middle, but the almost at the end part of the game when the tanker, uh, oh Mia or yeah, oh my God, Eve. Uh, no, no, uh, um, Zoe. Zoe, I knew it was with an E. Well, it's Not, a Z, but okay. Yeah, but there's an <laughs> E in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you have that choice, and the he doesn't care. He mm. killed Big Daddy Jack Baker. That's it. I want to get out. I'm like, here to book it. I can think of an alternative where if you did pick Zoe, if let's say that was supposed to happen, and you were supposed to switch control to Chris, and then Ethan was like, no, I love Zoe for some reason because you picked Zoe. I don't know. That's why it wouldn't make much sense there, but then you continue as Ethan, I guess. Or, oh, I can't believe Mia would lie to me. Yada, yada, yada. I don't know, but I really get that feeling like Not A Hero was supposed to be part of the main campaign. Looking back now, for years after Resident Evil 7 mm. came out, how do you guys feel about the game now compared to then? Still. Still. Uh, it's in my uh, top five greatest Resident Evil. It still time. holds up. Absolutely. It's weird for me to say that. How many years has it been since I can be like, yeah, the, that a was new, a good new A new Resident chapter Evil. hold up. Like, and, and not be like, well, it's not the originals. And I could be, yeah, but it compound, it expounds on it, them, you know? I think remake is RE2 is better than original RE2. Now, this is the question I was asking myself, too. Is it Are better than the original? It's a I, good I trans so. it's transition. I'll say that. I think it's a great transition, but it's like I'm comparing Sonic 2 to Sonic Adventure. <laughs> you know, like... They are so different. wildly different, but at the same time, they have the core gameplay mechanic of get to that point and get the coins, right. the rings. But also, remake has the heart of RE2 in it. That that the minute, dude, when they were announcing this game, and the minute that they announced that oh Elsa Walker costume, I knew it. I knew that they actually took time to fucking read something, right. you know, like at least go and look at the concept art. For and a I second. mean the fact that we have a bathroom. I didn't even, is it weird? I didn't even know that was a thing. I yeah. never once thought that there was no bathroom here and was thought that was weird. Also, it's just that station now, like the remake police station, that is by far the best station. I used to believe Outbreak was the best station, but this, this beats it. Ah. Also, please, if you have it, play with the original soundtrack. I have it. it is oh, I do that. so great. I haven't I, done it yet. Do it. it is so great. I want to at least give the developers what they wanted me to play first. Yeah, I understand. You I mean, try that. <laughs> uh, after that, hell. How is the new soundtrack? Mm. I, I really, how is it? Is it good? I, I, I really enjoy it. I think it's almost. I, I think okay. This is a double-edged sword because I think the game has amazing sound design, but the music is fucking like muted. It's so quiet and not really. It doesn't have a presence half the time. The save room is. And that's all you hear. It's not the fucking actual save room theme, unless you do the classic thing. But the sound design in the game for the enemies, for fucking Mr. X in general. You mean X gonna give it to you. The footsteps of him walking in the next room. I have the never shat bricks more than when I'm in that safe uh, in the dark room. Mm -hmm. And you just hear him <clears throat> pounding everywhere. And I'm like, all right, is he is he more left or right? I, I I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a stab and just go left. And there he is, right by the stairs. Right outside the door. And then he looks right at you like, hey, baby. <laughs> so that happens to me like three times in the Let's Play. And I, sh and I yell almost every time because I'm like, all right, let's go. Oh, my. And just go back, back into the room. Okay. This thing is such an unstoppable force of nature. No, the but, the, but that screaming bit hasn't just happened to me with him. It hasn't just happened to me with liquors. It's happened to me with just regular ass damn zombies and i'm like oh you son of, i forgot you were there or oh okay. son of a bitch why did you spawn now they do this genius thing where when you kill a zombie they don't die they have a, any chance of coming back up i don't think they can actually die die unless you get like a, a flame round or a magnum that blows their head off or something but when you walk over them there's a chance for them to go Wah! like really loud and it's right on top of you because you're walking over them. So it scares the shit out of you because you're like, it's a dead body. I thought it was dead. Right. But the fact is, okay, so. Um, it gets me every time. I have the infinite ammo handgun. And I've been doing, I've been killing trophies or whatever with 74%. Uh, yes, folks, uh, publicly, George is better than me. Can I, no, can we say the story at least? The what story? I need context. The what story? We both agreed 
that we were going to do a hardcore run together right. as and our then, first run. And then uh, I just, my heart couldn't fucking take it. I'm, I was stuck in the basement with one round and two liquors in that kennel. How many times have you, did you die? Five. Not recorded. Okay. And, and I just did not. I Every time I tried to sneak past, like, quotation mark, sneak past, how everyone says, oh, you could just sneak past the liquors. Yeah, but they walk to you. They do? Okay. There's a very specific, and I know this is probably because I'm playing hardcore that I even know this. There's a specific walk animation that doesn't alert them. It's the walk that doesn't make a footstep. Yeah. I do that one. But they, they go slower. Oh. Well. I know. I don't know. Okay. Sometimes they just know. I don't know either. It just happens. Okay? All right. <laughs> so, uh, while, yes, George is better at it. However, I will publicly admit I'm going to do a hardcore run. Okay. I am doing it, but I'm going for the S+. Plus. Like, I don't need them to, to think that, oh, I'm better than you or anything. That's not what I'm here for. I want it to be known that we agree that we're going to do a hardcore, and you said, nah, this is too hard. I'm going back to normal just so I can enjoy the game. And I said, but, but, okay, I'm already, like, halfway through. What am I going to do, not finish it? And then I, I mean, technically, going. now where I was, yeah, I was kind of close to, not close to the sewers, not even, not even the fucking lab. The sewers are so hard. Oh, it hardcore. is. No, on hardcore, and I was telling Vinny. Yeah, because of the G uh, adult. The G adults, they, they're they too big. But the Leon, is so Leon small. has such a longer sewers run because mm -hmm. of the alligator. Claire's is a like cut in half compared to Leon, in my opinion. Well, yeah, because you come down from that that walkway down. But the thing is, the alligator thing, nothing really happens on the yeah. way. No, 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 I know. And uh, it's kind of easy. It, they, it was Sonic. You saw the video I sent you, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was literally the city escape scene where you run towards the camera, move left and right. This is this was a Sonic level. Right. Yeah. What? I'm just happy we have an alligator, and I'm happy we killed it the same old way we always do. But would I have preferred him just walking towards me and then having to time my shot and not have it be this fucking zany action sequence where you jump down and you turn around and shoot it and it blows up? That was RE5. Yes. That was RE5. There are two... Okay. Good. Good topic. Bring this up. There are two moments, and maybe it's because I'm playing hardcore. I don't know. But there are two moments that harken back to RE5 and 6. And I don't know why the fuck they're in this game, and it's pissing me off. Because All right, the, the alligator is one of them, right? Alligator was easier than the other one, but it is a weird, like, action set piece, much like Resident Evil 6. The other one is the G fight right either after the sewers or before the sewers. It's where the you have crane? to hit him with the box, with the crane box. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I see where you're coming from. Okay. That area, you walk into there, it's like a hallway. Not even. It's about the width of your character, really. Because the box takes up 90% of the platform. Yeah. You run around the corner to the other side of the box. Like, I'm trying to visualize it for someone who's listening. And you press a switch. By the time you press that switch, G is right behind you. Where do you go? Okay. Now, no, I'm not done yet. I'm sorry. All right. So, the box will move, and that's your best chance to run around, right? But the box, the whole gimmick is you have to have it slam into him. Yeah. But the box takes up 90% of the stage. Yeah, and you're supposed to down him so the box will hit him. But hardcore, it's not easy to down him. No. So it was like, I had to run around. I kept on getting hit by the fucking box. And I'm like, this is the most unclassic RE thing ever, where I have to time a certain set piece with an enemy AI and have it interact. That is not something that usually happens in RE. No. So, I mean, yeah, you deal with enemy AIs, and sometimes there's a trap where you flip a switch or something. Yeah, but this was so much more action-y of having to stun him, and then, like, the area getting covered up, and then instant kill. Like, that whole segment really put a damper on the game for me for a second. I was so pissed. I just wanted to fight him normally. Why can't I just shoot him? Because you already had that, and they wanted to vary I was give you a variation. One. That was when he was just with yeah, the pipe. Yeah, form one. Now he's shark mode. Why can't I just fight shark mode? Well, like in the original. I don't know. And also, I didn't fight Dog Birkin. In I guess it's a rele relegated to Claire, because I didn't get it. I don't know. Maybe it'll show up in at the end. I'm not, uh, your face said something. So thankfully, he's in it. I was like, what the fuck? Where the hell's Dog Birkin? <laughs> so I couldn't find him. Um, yeah, they, they regulated the two villains. That's why we have Mr. X so much. Well, because they're in both campaigns now. Yeah. I like that. But, but Mr. X is, like, super tyrant. 
mm -hmm. really shows up for Leon. What? Mr. X has more of a presence than Leon's. Yeah. I feel in the remake or in the original? The remake. remake. We're talking remake. Okay, because... In, in the, the original, uh, Mr. X was purely side B. I don't know, because Claire has the scene where they're ch Mr. X is chasing him to the elevator and she rips him in half. Like, there are scenes with Mr. X. Yeah. Y yes. Yeah, but there's more scenes with uh, Mr. X and Leon's. But I beat Leon's, and I thought there was an equal amount of both. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, so obviously that's something. That's fine. Moving on. Um, b back to uh, classic RE gameplay. That, that one segment pissed me off, Okay, that and the alligator. Is there another part? The alligator didn't piss me off. It just made me go, whoa, this is a weird RE6 segment out of nowhere. Is there anything else that you feel is more RE6? You guys talk while I think. I don't. I don't think so. Anyway, uh, uh, I I'm gonna try and do an S plus run. Just I really want. This is a game that I want to beat the living crap out of completely. But damn, that fourth survivor mode is super hard. Maybe the Sherry segment. The what? The Sherry segment where you hide. Hide, hide and seek. Yeah, it's 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 not very Resident Evil, but I wouldn't say it's RE six per se. It it feels like a weird Outlast segment just put in there yeah I, I, i'll say this i hated that i didn't like segment. it either i hate that damn segment i don't like being is it weird i like resident evil because i like to get prepared by you know looking you know procure on site get yourself prepared yeah i hate being stripped of everything and then having to deal with a set piece mm. like i get it i really do but it really doesn't need to be the whole fucking orphanage i mean claire comes now, back and that's it now that i know how to beat it because I was stuck for it for a while. Oh, did, did irons grab you? A lot. What ha does, uh, does something happen? No. He just grabs her and it's fades. Yeah, life. it's you're trapped. You are trapped. It doesn't say you are dead. It just says you're trapped. Uh, he puts you back in the room. That's it. That's awesome. Yeah. But um, it, it becomes like a little scary because you like he grabs her and like oh now you're gonna get it, bitch. And I'm like yeah. This is a nine year old dude. Calm down. Because he's a. Bro, all right, that's something we can talk about. They added so much depth to certain characters. Yeah, the side characters got a lot more going on. Mm -hmm. Kendo has a fucking character arc. Yeah. What? Which we got a tease of. Yeah. And now we're going to get DLC of. And I swear to God, if I have to kill his family member that I'm not going to mention because that's a, I feel that's a story thing. If I have to... Joe? That's, Kendo. If I'm playing as Kendo, Robert, the, right? Killing Joe, killing the child. You're saying family member. Uh, we're on spoiler segment. Who oh, we cares? are. We yeah, are. We I thought we. I thought we. Bro, were. I mentioned. Yeah, the daughter. Remember I mentioned the Mr. Remember, X getting. Uh, remember the daughter? He, he, no, because that was that was a trailer. No, it showed him going through. It didn't show him getting ripped in half. Oh. Yeah. No, we were on. We've been on spoiler. We talked about the fucking boss fights. Like. I know. That's why I've been like. Spoiling a lot. No, because you were saying a family member, and I was yeah, like, the daughter. If I kill, I if I fucking kill his daughter in the beginning, it's gonna be my favorite DLC of all time. I almost guarantee you, it's gonna be like he kills her and as then he the kills intro, himself, and then you start. No, well, because you have to have the campaign. True. Where you play? I mean, at the end you of the campaign. No, I, <laughs> no, at the end of the campaign, because don't forget, these people never made it out of the city. Mm -hmm. See, you both said that, and you didn't read the cap the Capcom what Facebook if? post. It says a what if scenario. Fucking yeah, because we even we, anything's possible. We have, Twin Peaks. We, <laughs> we even have uh, Mayor's daughter as one of the characters. Yeah. And she's always dead. She died before you fucking got there. Yeah, I I and you know what? That third soldier. Most people are gonna be like, oh, whatever. It's another hunk soldier. No, 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 no. I kind of like this design a lot. Um, there because the glass is broken. You can see his eye. Right, right, and you get this. It, it's a different hunk mask without it just being another gas mask. Yeah. So I like this character design to begin with. Plus, there really aren't a lot of black people in Resident Evil. No. No. I can think of Kenneth from the first game, Marvin from two. What's her name from five? Sheva. Yeah, Sheva. She was, I, I always felt like she was British for some reason. She sounded British. I don't know. Maybe it's just me being dumb with the character. But either way, like I like this addition of new characters. This is a new character, a new thing he can do. He's not hunk. It's not, you know what I like about it, Adrian? He's not Lady Hunk. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, you thought he was, it was gonna no, be no, no. like. No, 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 but like Lady Hunk. You know what I mean? 
alternate hunk. I thought it would just be, oh, this is another hunk. A black guy hunk. Another this is black hunk. This is a Grim Reaper. A different Gr Grim Reaper. But I would want him to just be his own character, and I think that's what they're going for. I think his name is Ghost. That's cool. Something like that. Which uh, is so cool. <laughs> I, I don't feel like I need real. to look that up. Yeah, I, I read that somewhere. It might be entirely false. Um, uh, but yeah, character arcs. Um, I would like to say I love Marvin. Marvin went up, but he's essentially the same character from Outbreak now. Yeah, yeah, because, you know, and also he turns into a zombie, which, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I kind of like how this game did it as opposed to, like, having a cutscene do it. It just happens in the main Gradually, hall. gradually, and there's nothing you can do. I've done everything possible. There's nothing you can do. He what, will turn into a zombie. What do you think? He's going to turn, of course. Okay, but, like, you know, I had hope. He made zombie <laughs> noises waking up. He is gone. The thing is, it's not like the original where you could be like, all right, Marvin, you stay in your office. I'm never going there. He's in the main hall. Yeah. <laughs> you got to do which, something. Which, I, unironically, the main hall, you think is safe. It is not. No. It is not. No. Scenario B, there's no item box in that fucking main hall. No, they took that away. Mm, I didn't know that. So when yeah. I went back. <laughs> that was that was actually really, but they give you the break room. Yeah. They, they, they changed the safe rooms, essentially, but it's like... It's farther because the main hall is like the best safe mm -hmm. room because hey, it's right in the middle. Boom, but, boom. Uh, let's let's get back to the the character arcs, the major shit, real quick. Because there was Kendo who has a new arc. I want to mention Annette is way better or better written this time around. I actually kind of want to yeah. say Ada is better written. Her having a cover in the fucking first place is automatically a better character. Oh yeah, it makes more sense. Yeah, not just I'm looking for my boyfriend. Who are you? Uh, Ada. <laughs> <laughs> like. What? Which was, oh, let's call back to RE1 and all that. Yay. John Ada. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. I thought you meant something new in RE2. Um, but but She's I, love, I love that. Hate almost everything about her segment. Oh, yeah. The, the hacking thing. I Hated. didn't care about the hacking yeah, at all. Yeah, it felt like trying something new the same way the hiding thing in Sherry's. And that, okay, no one liked the Ada and Sherry segments if they were different. People wanted to play as Ada fighting zombies like Claire Not Leon. like, hey, I'm hacking into the Matrix. Yeah, yeah. and Sherry, they wanted to avoid zombies. Uh, do you mind if I uh, talk about a trophy? Yeah, go for it. Uh, yeah, sure, but let me remember, don't forget about Annette, because I wanted to talk something about Annette. Right, really quick, it's about those two segments. One, the Sherry, you have to get out of the bedroom in under a minute. That's really easy. It is? Unless you're me and you're stupid, when it comes to the damn puzzle to get oh, the, the block puzzle? Yes. So you have to be near perfect on that damn puzzle and get out in a minute. It's probably a set solution. Like a set No, it, it, it always changes. It's randomized? The, it's randomized. So cool. the blocks are always randomized. You will never have the same block twice. You play normal mode, and then you checkpoint, and then you checkpoint. <laughs> checkpoint. I mean, that's how I got 74% of the trophies. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I had no checkpoints. Sherry... Uh, that's Sherry's trophy. Ada gets a similar one where you have to do the entire segment with just the hacking. You can't I fire saw that. Gun. You, I, you can probably do that. It's yeah. That was super easy. Yeah? Barely yeah. an inconvenience. Because all you do is just run away. But did you got grabbed? No. You just run away. That's It's super well, easy to do. Hacking is easy. The you're... zombies... Also, holy crap. The minimalist trophy is super easy and assisted. What? That's like, don't open the, the No, the don't take a uh, uh, healing item. Oh, okay, yeah. Because it you regens heal. your health. You fucking regen. Ugh. Ugh. You know when I died finally doing that trophy? What? The last G fight. Huh. That's funny. I, I did die a lot on the last G fight, too, but for other reasons. Right. <laughs> Lack of ammo, I imagine. No. I like how they just give you a shitload of handgun ammo. Where's like just three rounds for a magnum there in the in the line. dude? You just reminded me. Remember, hardcore ammo is scarce. By the time I reach the final G room, I have around forty to like sixty pistol rounds. When was where was all this for the fucking game? I needed this. I didn't use it on G. I had other guns I saved for him. Yeah. Um. But Annette, also, uh, go yeah. Go to Annette. Just really quick, I want to mention because the character development's huge. They. There's this whole thing with... She's a person now. That Sherry <laughs> says, oh, my mom, you know, she works a lot. I don't get to see her. And then Annette really doesn't have any moment where she's like, 
Um, okay, she, when, okay, when Claire brings up Sherry, she goes, Sherry, how do you know that name? Okay, we'll do that, and then tell Sherry I was a good mother. It, that's her entire arc in RE2. In the remake, you see how she's a neglectful mother. There are scenes where it shows that she's focused on the, the reactions of what she's doing, she's taking notes and shit, and Claire is like, hey, Sherry's in trouble, and she's like, yeah, I, I know, but the G, hold on, my name's Annette, by the way, yeah, I'm the, Sherry's in trouble. My daughter's none of your concern, okay? And she just leaves. Because, like, she that proves that she's a shitty parent. Because in the original, she was a good parent in the end. Yeah. I don't know if in the end she's going to end up being a good parent here. I don't know. But what I do know is that there's a scene where, she, where she's literally berating Sherry in the sewer through a fucking video camera. Telling her, oh, I don't have time for this. Yeah, I don't have time for this. What are you doing here? You should have stayed home. And this little girl is. Why didn't you call the police? They never came. Yeah. Mom, like they're dead, they're mom. Fucking, <laughs> do you not know what's going on outside? Oh my God, I can't deal with this. This little girl is so traumatized. People have died in front of her. She's been kidnapped, almost raped. Like, oh my God. And that scene just solidified Annette and how I can like feel for Sherry being like, my mom doesn't give a shit about me. And that's where Claire comes in, and she even mentions, oh yeah, me and my brother, we never had parents, and she wants to be the Chris for shit. None of this was in the original. Also, Claire is so much better in this, I feel. I love than her so much. Yeah. It's, it's this feeling of when I've played as Heather in Silent Hill 3. Oof. It's that thing where I'm just like, I think you're such a cool main character. Well, you Heather. don't take shit. Yeah. <laughs> I love how she shit talks all the zombies. What is it? What is wrong with you? <laughs> That's one thing I'm a little bit. I love that shit. Iffy on the game. I love that. Remember, I play Leon. Right. Oh my Ready? god. Jesus Leon's Christ. Lines were the what fun. the hell? Oh, son of a bitch. Fuck. <laughs> that is hilarious. Son of a bitch. Every line he says is funny to me. What in God's name? Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> Why is he so silly? Claire is more realistic. Like, Leon just says funny shit, like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> it's like, what, why do you say that? Uh, somebody, uh, I want to... That's I wanna, not how the cookie crumbles. Uh, I, I, <laughs> right hand comes off. I want to ask uh, Vinny here a uh, question. Why is it that Leon is a rookie cop, but yet he's dressed like SWAT, and then every other cop in okay. RPD is dressed like that. a mall cop? I read that post, and you know what? I have an answer. Because Leon's a rookie. So he needs the most amount of help? I guess. That's the rookie outfit. Oh, but hey, Marvin Branagh actually was a uh, cop of the year or whatever. Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, did you see Brad? No. Brad Vickers. Where? He, okay. In the second stars? Run. Second run. When you're when you're going into the guardhouse in the basement. Oh, okay. You know, in that cemetery area, and you have to run back after talking to Leon, and they, they flirt or whatever at the gate? The corpses in the... In no. The you go down to the area where you meet zombie Brad. You know, there's, a, there's an item box room. Yeah. There's a poster on the wall. Oh, what? And it? it's fucking Brad. What does it say? It's like, um, join us for the Stars Recruitment uh, Opportunity at this mall center star, uh, featuring Brad Vickers, the helicopter pilot from the Stars team. And it's like a new face model for Brad. Yeah. Nice. Thank God. It looks good. It's good to see Chicken Heart still live. I don't know. Am I the only one who caught this? Because no yeah, one's I didn't, didn't see know. it. I didn't notice I didn't that at all. It. To be fair, on that second run, I just wanted to get the gun, the new gun. I and took a screenshot. I'm posting it on that Resident Evil fan page. Please do. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. Uh, George and I found a shit posting group for Resident Evil. Nice. Yeah. So we've been just posting shitty memes. It's, 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 it's good for a while. Good like, Lord. It's, it's chill doing. with the face app. No. Bro, no, you, that face app is gold. Exactly. You need to stop being a prude, okay? It was six reaction images. It's not like I kept no, posting them for everything. I just put them all out there, said, use them. And you went, Jesus Christ, calm no, down. No, because as soon as I look, six messages. And it's all the face Yeah, app. that's funny. It's all of them. And they're supposed to be in sequential order. He's supposed to go, like, you know? Right. And then uh, <laughs> and then you, you. you and someone else in that shit posting group just started doing a bunch of face app ones. Someone got mad. Like, the thing is, dude, I don't post a shit ton of them, like, as responses to things, unless it's messages to friend. right. uh, friends. I put a post with all my face app pictures and said, here you go, feel free to use them as reaction images. Everyone used them, and someone got mad and made a, re uh, a response <laughs> image. And I was like, dude, I just made them. I didn't use them. <laughs> yeah. 
I get it. But everyone loves them, so fuck off. And everyone likes that post where it's like the Tom and Jerry thing, and I put the UMBC for the little mouse. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, back to Resident Evil 2. Mm. Um, I'm glad cockroaches aren't something to kill. So when I was running through that, that duct as Ada, I was like, let's do this quick, let's do this quick. But they don't kill you. Yeah, they no, don't even hurt you. However, they're a model that you could look through in the model viewer. You have to kill one to get it? No. Okay, because I, I haven't killed one yet. No, you don't You don't have to do anything to them. Good. <laughs> However, I don't miss spiders. Uh, Everyone's missing the spiders in I the don't. sewers. I do not miss spiders. I would prefer spiders over the G. Oh, the you know what? Well, yeah. Yeah, but I love the G at all. I do not. I think it's a great... Uh, it was a great a mini boss. boss. I think it's great to have them there. It was a great mini boss once. But not as a minion. I don't not, like not fighting it. Not four of them. No. There's fucking five of them. No. Yeah, there is five. That's too many. And, and on top of that, they eat ammo like crazy. You see them in a hallway that's super narrow. You can't run around them. They grab you and poison you. Unless yeah. you have a self-defense item. Also, the little ones. <clears throat> the little ones poison you. Literally, I never got touched by one of those. I did. I, I, I did know. a lot. I don't know if it's... I play hardcore. You think I would got hit by that. Honestly, what I did was it's just, as soon as you raise elevation, they can't hop on land. Yeah. So I just... Whoop. They hit me <laughs> when I'm going types. to get the, the king and queen plug. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I get the... Because that's where you them. get three of them. You can knife them. Uh, oh, yeah, just look down. And, and it takes them. way less damage on the knife. Oh, uh, please get the Mr. Raccoons. Yeah, I'm doing that. It, 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 it's safe for the S plus run, the infinite knife. Yeah. You could use that for the S plus run. So I might do nice. that. Nice. Uh, by the way, the knife, the S plus run knife. So this is going to be like, only George is going to get this. I'm sorry, Ben. Yay. Do you remember specifically infinite knife? how the infinite oh, knife yes, looked I do. with a little nice grip and all that, the little handle? Wait, it's specifically the same knife? It's the same knife. That's amazing. It's the same infinite knife, and it even says uh, this knife was um, strengthened very well. It, it's built to last, or something like that. Okay, Vinny, you get the knife in RE2. Yeah. You type in, there's a code you can get for infinite ammo for all your other guns. Let's say you have the knife in your inventory. Yeah. You type that code, the knife gets an infinite symbol next to it. Oh, and it's white. Compared to everything else, yeah. which is like blue and red. Or so whatever. like somehow it gives the weapon a counter. And you're like, what? <laughs> sure. Uh, infinite knife. And then this is what they did. They, they fucking actually contextualized the infinite knife. Yep. This is why this is the best. Okay. Um, we're on 38 minutes. Uh, I, f I feel like I have so much more. I haven't even talked about the new ivies. I love the new eyes There's and so that much mouth. better now. That mouth. I died three times to him, but yeah. But the the whole idea with them whistling. Oh, I haven't noticed the whistling. They there's okay. They do this like when you're in the garden area, and whenever you think of a garden, there's like half. I don't know. And when I think of a garden, I can think of someone whistling. Oh, happily. they named it by the way. The plant. Uh, did you pick up the? Ivy? Did you? Oh, plant forty three. That's so awesome. Okay, there was a. The boss in Resident Evil 1 is Plant 42. Yeah. So, so they this just, one's better. But the thing is, we always kind of thought that, right? That yeah. There was I a never plant. called it Plant 43. I never called it that, but you I always the, assumed it was the, the thing next where thing. You fall, yeah, the, the, the vagina big, wall. Yeah, that I was actually going to say. It. Everyone <laughs> calls it the vagina wall. Yeah. And that's what I always that's what thought was. that was a type of Plant 42, but no, this is literally the next one. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Um, but the Ivies, they whist they whistle and they like they click and they make little whistling noise like I wish I could whistle and I could do it, but it's it's so eerie. It works so much better than the Ivies. I just I like how they look. I like the fact that they don't die. You even have to like kill the bulbs and they still come back up. They can die. Yeah, with flame. Yeah. Well, that's what I I didn't fucking use the flamethrower on anything else. Oh, dude, I was, <laughs> I was using that flamethrower for the G mutants, the G adults. Oh, like butter. One of my death runs I did because I it just was out. I had to wait. It works. Yeah. For the G adults, yeah. Because I I tried using acid rounds on them and it doesn't work. No, acid rounds is purely for X. In my opinion, X and William. It does because I so I'm not wrong. I try using it on zombies. They seem unfazed. Their arms fall off and that's it. For acid? No, dude. Why are you wasting acid? Because the acid rounds were so strong in the original. 
They're for bosses. That's it. But they were great against zombies in the original too. Dude, I'm gonna be honest with you. I think the grenade launchers. I think the guns suck. Well, I have a question. Cause I don't get any splash damage when I do the flame rounds. Yeah, no. You remember splash. how back in the day you would shoot down and flame, like it would like cover an area it or whatever. It does. But here's the thing. The impact is in the center, and everything around it is flame damage. Right, AoE. Yeah, but it's not explosive. No. Which it should be for a fucking grenade launcher. Yeah, yeah. Which we <laughs> don't have explosive rounds. This is, I think, the first Resident Evil game, I have to double check, where we have a grenade launcher with no explosive rounds. Just flame and acid. That's, That's it. it. Yeah. But I have a question, because I don't know if this is just specifically the second run or not. I got the Colt SAA. Nice. Second run only. Oh, Okay, because, like, I literally... And you know the new bullets, right? Yeah, the high caliber ones, which I didn't realize were different bullets until I reached the sewers. Thanks. <laughs> so I was like, let me make some more ammo. This isn't the right ammo. No, it is not. <laughs> that is uh, 9mm. That is... But it's... For her two handguns. <laughs> no, Yes, but here's the thing. You could upgrade the first handgun. You could upgrade both. Yes, but the second one doesn't really like count. It's just an extra. It's a free extended, twenty. No, 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 extended no. mag. Okay, you're right. It's a shitty gun. But let's say you're playing hardcore mode. I don't think it's every a bullet gun. counts. Yes, I know that. And you get like a, as soon as you combine it, oh, twenty four bullets just appear out of 28. nowhere. Twenty eight. Okay. Woo. <laughs> Sweet. But also, I think that I love the dot, the dot sight on it. The the little laser yeah, sight. Yeah, it that, really that, helps. That does help a lot. But that revolver with that uh, the the powerful nine millimeter round. Not fired it once yet. Save it. I, I have would. been. Because like you're I'm gonna bosses. get more for the G fight. Oh, good. And like the thing is, I'm it, saving that for bosses. Yeah. That. Oh, did I tell you how many machine gun submachine gun rounds I have? Two hundred. Ha. Four fifty. Jesus. But you know that goes through the legs like butter, right? No, I, I'm not touching any zombies with it. I'm not touching Mr. X with it unless it's the final fight. I'm literally clear on the final fight is just going to be like, ah, <laughs> emptying this whole like Rambo. fucking two giant extended mags. She's just going to, yeah, like Rambo. I'm going to borrow um, fucking Richter Belmont's fucking headband. Head Can you get the up. upgrade for the machine gun? Yes. Yes, I did. All it right. was like stock. It, it, does it, I don't think it does firepower at all. It just does stability. Yeah. Okay. Stability. And did you get the other upgrade? For the grenade launcher? Oh, no, not the other one. No. Cool. There's two. Well, you know, the when you go back, the hiding place film. What did I miss for the... Leon, nothing. No, it, I meant it was for shared. It was a dot site for Leon. Oh. Oh, that would have been cool. For the Magnum, but it, I don't know how to use it. It doesn't fucking... Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, honestly, the game is a lot of fun. I recommend it. I It's right now my game of the year. Uh, I, I Game can't... of the year is January. No. Yeah. It's... Yeah. It's January, but there's nothing this year that... I can't. Tell me a game that's going to come out this uh, Days Gone? Uh, excuse me. Uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 for the Switch. I'm excited about that. I mean, yeah, I can see why you're excited. And Mua, Mua 2 was fucking phenomenal, in my opinion. Mua 2 is terrible. Mua I, 1 is the best one. I love Mua 2. Mua 1's awful. So, like, <clears throat> I'm thinking of Mua games on the horizon that, that I like, and I would have said Final Fantasy 7... But after seeing Ooh. Kingdom Hearts 3. DMC 3. <clears throat> D DMC 5 and me. Oh, DMC fuck yeah. 5. DMC oh. 5. The, I, fuck you guys. Okay. That's true. What I said, I, I posted <laughs> today on Facebook. Uh, I'm getting it. I feel that Devil May Cry 5 is going to be like everyone's pick of the year, like game of the year. But my personal pick is obviously going to be Resi 2. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, and I'm, I'm so happy. We I'm might get a, a Resi Buster. 3. And I need my big, sexy, Bro. big... Big beautiful boy, bro. Never see it. Brad, Brad was in two now. Yeah. This kind of I don't Confirms. know that might not be a confirm, but it's a hint. Also, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's a machine you just hit. <laughs> Jill had a dog. Oh, it's a good chance it's her boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> it's a. Dog. Jill has a I, dog. I think it's a has Labrador, a but I'm yeah. not really good with dogs. It's a Labrador. Sweet. It's a puppy. Wait, no, it's a golden retriever. Sweet. Yeah, it's pretty. Uh, and he'll always love you, Jill, unlike Chris. Who, Claire says nothing about the jacket. No. Yeah. However, the original uh, RE2 outfits updated the way like it looks. I love the little like biker jacket and her boots. What? You know the alternative outfits? For original? Yeah. 
Okay, I thought you were saying that the biker outfit was in the remake. I was like, wait, where? How? When? Oh, no. The Yeah. The biker outfit? Is in the remake? Yeah. Where? No. Where? What are you talking about? Wh- which one? Beat second run. But you, you beat... get you get normal outfits, which is remake, which is that the 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 long jeans and, and the the red jacket and the red jacket. Then you get classic, which is the pink one. The alternative, isn't that is that the one you're talking about? Yeah. Oh no! I like that. I wouldn't call that the biker outfit, but then again, I guess she came in. On no, the no, bike. you mean the the blue one, the with fucking the... with the flames and the yeah. red headband. We're never gonna see that again. I, no, you know what? I almost guarantee you, we're gonna have a DLC that's Code Veronica and RE4. And I'll pay for money for it. Yeah, and then why not throw in the? Because dude, we still have four other costumes, and what Capcom doesn't want money. What we're not gonna have an easy Leon SWAT outfit or his gay biker outfit? I do want the gay extreme biker battle outfit. mode. Though. I want that gay biker outfit. The gay biker will outfit. they bring back extreme battle mode or will they just call it mercenaries uh, and just? Get I think they should, they, they should. just add a mech. I don't think it'll be <laughs> mercenaries, be, the way traditionally it's gonna be like extreme battle because the gameplay doesn't support fighting a whole bunch of enemies in one room like mercenaries did. It'll be more like already three mercenaries. Yeah, which is running. Which is running. So that's, you know, and that's and what it's saving battle mode. Re- uh, survivors. It, oh, you know, I never was good at that. <laughs> <laughs> that's that. But I'm so bad at that. I could only do that with Mikhail. I can't. I died every time. Nikolai is the hardest one, but I died every time with uh, Carlos trying to get well, there. I'm not familiar with RE3's maps so much. So, so it's just like, uh, bro, it's hard. For me, know. I know that is my bread and butter. That's my, my, my favorite Resident Evil of all time. Vinny, your favorite Resident Evil of all time? Uh, two. Um, I pointed at George. Gaiden. Dead Aim. Uh, Survivor. Did you, did you like my shit, boys? Outbreak 2. Resident Evil. Oh, Aubrey. that's actually a good answer, though. Outbreak 2, man. <laughs> Fuck. Every time I come over, you're like, what are you doing? I'm like, My oh. favorite classic RE in terms of traditional fucking PS1, static man. camera. PS1, man. Is, uh, no, Outbreak, actually. In ter- well, no, because the difficulty is way too hard in Outbreak. Do you think they'll remake Outbreak? I, I hope they port it. Why not? I mean, they do mention Rita Phillips. Marva Branagh is basically that. The, the fucking... Yeah. You'll see me freaking out on the, on the the in the Let's Play. I did see that. When, he, when I put the metal in and the fucking exit way that Rita climbs through an Outbreak, I shat bricks. I was like, this is canon now. But see, here's the thing. Um, uh, where are we on time? We're on 48 minutes. All right, fuck it. This is an extra long. This is to make up for shit. I feel Remake is super similar to RE1 Remake. Well, yeah, because it expands the same way RE1 Remake. Yeah. Yeah, because the in the main hall, the there's an extra place to go, you know? Oh, but that's a shortcut into the... Re- oh, yeah, I guess, because that area wasn't in the original. Yeah. No. No, yeah, you're yeah. Uh, it's, it's very similar, uh, I feel. If, if the great, well, it does take you to a boss. No, I mean, yeah, kinda actually, because the the elder crimson's down there, and you go and you fight G in the same manner. Also, fuck everyone who's like, man, I miss crimson heads. Could you imagine crimson heads in remake? Two? They are here. They just don't run. They come back alive. Yeah, but they don't like. They're not fast, I know. and they don't slash. You slash. want that? No, <laughs> no, not, not, that? no, no, no. Vinny, Vinny, believe, uh, really quick on the Fallout 76. Oh, God. Bite me. Bite me. Wouldn't 76 be better if it had Casadors? Uh, Fallout 76 would be better if it was not 76. <laughs> Fallout 76 would be better if it didn't exist. Fallout 76 sucks. Yeah. Yeah. But I've always said it. And Bethesda's attitude after the fact is even worse. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, they're releasing a jacket for $276. And it looks like sh- it looks like a garbage bag. They're so up their own ass. Oh, uh, I told Vinny Todd Howard, about, about the uh, the bugs. They're coming back. Yeah. Yeah, no. They, Not uh, the I already, bugs I, already I wanted. About that. I already knew about that from an article. The bloat flies? But no, they. Uh, <laughs> but there's a new patch for Fallout 76, and a lot of the bugs that they fixed previously came back. Mm, like yes. you're, like ghouls like glitching through doors, leaving areas. A lot and, of or, clipping, a lot a of lot, stability lot. issues. Mm, mm. I, I haven't played Fallout 76 since the first day it came out, and after that, I was like, I'm not touching this again. Well, as soon as you said to me it was open world, no NPCs besides robots, 
And like, well, because they were advertising it like we're are all the NPCs. Like, if you want to play as a shopkeeper, you could play as a shopkeeper. But guess what? Nobody does. Nobody cares. Yeah. No, yeah, actually, that's, that's thing. no, actually, there's a couple people on PC that are running that shit. Sure. No, there's a dude who considers himself the final boss because he went to level 200, and he has minions that are like mini bosses to get to him. It's ridiculous. And they made up a story that he's like the final boss of the Enclave. Sure, so dumb. why not? But look, I mean, those are actually people that point, are doing it. I don't want the they, Enclave back. My point is that when people saw multiplayer Fallout... By the way, the Enclave is in the game. Oh, yeah, I know, because it takes place before. When yeah. people say they wanted a multiplayer Fallout, they didn't want multiplayer Fallout Light. They wanted Fallout multiplayer. Right. Stop taking shit out to, like, compensate? Why? Like a fall game with multiplayer mode, like you, me, you and me could do a dungeon together. Well, right, the loading might take a long time if, let's say, we both go into, a, we both have to load into. Oh the man, town at the I same love time. the well, loading in Fallout seventy six. You'll load, and then you'll have to wait an additional minute so the rest of the world. Also, loads. you don't see anybody for until you. It'll, it'll be hours before you find somebody. <laughs> Adrian, no game will have worse loading than Sonic 06. That's true. As someone who attempted to 100 percent, yeah, attempted 06. to 100 percent because the trophy descriptions don't make sense. Call for help. Mm. Call for help, <laughs> Mr. Jackpot. Mr. Jackpot. Mr. Jackpot. This is all Twin Peaks. Oh right? fuck yeah, it is. Oh, it's the best. Previous episode, watch it. Hey, Adrian, wash your damn hands. <laughs> Did you cut? Wash your damn hands, Laura. No. All right. Seemed like a good moment to cut. Well, you didn't say goodbye. Oh. <laughs> um, okay, look, I really feel like we have a lot to talk about for Resident Evil still, and when I beat it, I love Resident even Evil. more to talk about. And I feel bad that Vinny kind of watched us geek out for like a minute. I there. don't mind. <laughs> I really don't. I've beaten the game. I like game, his, his input, though. <laughs> I've beaten like the game opinions. maybe six times. Six, seven times. I'm, I, I'm a little worried about hardcore mode, because I've been like testing the waters. Oh, to yeah, see putting, how putting your toes in before you dive in. Man, that fucking mode is hard. You know it's also hard? I beat it. Saying goodbye. I, I don't know how to like run away and everything. I don't thought that was a good way to end. Yeah, but then he brought up hardcore. I really want to like tell you the differences between them. It's just... It's I seen him play a little bit of hardcore and I was like, wow. It's fun. The difference. I really get the savor of the game, but it's... It, there's one... Okay. We have really short amount of time. Really quick. <laughs> RE7 has a segment where you play as Mia on the ship, right? Yeah. That segment on Madhouse is so fucking annoying. So fucking annoying because the game is not balanced for that segment where the difficulty that they add on to the monsters is way higher of a difficulty steep, like curve, than what the game normally was pacing Yeah, because she has only like a PP-19 submachine gun well, and a pistol. She already has a set like inventory and it's not a matter of you like messing with it and you just have to fight a, a horde that's already been predetermined that's not adjusted for this mode yeah the mold i got a question after yes. your thought okay interesting um that part was really fucking annoying and yeah. there is a segment like that in re2 remake and it's just i guess they there's got to be an area where they have a hard time like scaling it yeah that's the fucking sewers by the way okay so i got a million dollar question so, thinking about the all success from Resident Evil 7 and now the remake 2, mm. do you think the next Resident Evil game is going to be another game with a whole different cast like 7, or is it going to be another remake? What do we do with 8? Where, where do we go in the future of the timeline? I think 8 is going to have to deal with who Lucas was selling the... Uh, well, how do you know okay, it's going to be that same cast? Okay, okay, okay. How do you know it's going to be that same cast? It could Lucas, be is totally dead. Different. Lucas is dead. So there's no way he's coming back. He's, yeah. he's, Unless it's, it's a Wesker. <laughs> oh, vomit. Vomit, vomit, vomit. Um, I hated Lucas. Unless it's Tensu, who's the people who he was talking to. Um, I almost guarantee... Not guarantee. You know what I prefer, actually? We just reboot the series. I mean, isn't that what Seven kind of tried to do? Seven was a soft reboot. Honestly, just do Resident Evil 3. Try four again. <laughs> One more time. Call it something else. I don't know. I mean, I mean I don't a know. remake of three and then something totally off after seven, like eight would be something different. Like, I would like another story for seven, but remember, seven had to try really hard to disassociate itself from everything else it until good. Chris came in at the very end. 
It did a pretty good job at it. Yeah, it was supposed to be a surprise because you weren't even thinking about Umbrella and shit like that when you were playing the game. Yeah. And then when Chris comes up, you're like, oh yeah, this is in that universe. Oh shit, this is awesome. How many times can we do that? Maybe one more. Maybe one more. Maybe and one more yeah. that after that is like obvious. I kind of want them to do this kind of gameplay with RE1. Is that sad? Because we just had remake one. I don't know. I don't want remake another remake of one. Neither, but I kind of want RE1 it. remake. I mean, is I wouldn't a mind it. Classic. I wouldn't mind it. There, you can't top RE1 remake, obviously. That but. that that by far is like, I don't know. I if you were to ask me, is it? All versions of it too. The Game Boy, the GameCube one, mm -hmm. and even the PS4 HD re-release. I feel that is fundamentally a better game than Remake Two. Uh, in yeah, you know it's weird. my personal favorite is RE2 Remake, but RE1 Remake is like that. Fundamentally, that's a better game. It's crazy because I just feel like RE1 Remake is so polished. It is. It's it's so tight in terms of in terms of like not only that man, the gameplay, but like, the, the fucking how far ahead was that engine? The pre-rendered backgrounds on that. But are they were pre-rendered. But they are gorgeous. D no, don't get me wrong. You know how much I love pre-rendered, but I guess the future just is 3D environment. Right. So also Julia Both. I don't want Julia Both anymore. I do. I love her in remake. But I'm tired of Jill looking like Angelina Jolie. Please who, stop. Who do you want then? Someone else. Someone more keen to the classic. Someone Resident who's not. Evil. Yeah. Someone who's not so. Are he, are, are, hot. Marvel vs. Capcom 2, Jill would be awesome. Like. The, but that's an anime character. Yeah. That's, but no, but like, here. but like transitioned to the remake version. That's the problem we have with Resident Evil talking about the original characters is that because they were on shitty graphics, sorry, like at the, they were great at the time, but since they were on PS1 graphics, when they drew them, they were anime. So how do you translate that into people? It's a whole other thing. I'm sorry. Big Jill, eyes. Jill's my waifu, so. Julia Voth is great. I love remake Jill, but here's the thing. Every time since RE5, Re uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. When she's every, blonde, when she's blonde, pretty much any chance that she's come back since remake, she has these. That's the one thing they, they don't even look like remake Jill anymore. Revelations Jill, does that look like Jill to you? Does that look like Julia Vaughn? Re five doesn't look like Julia Vaughn. No. Re 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 five looks terrible. I would say Re five A that looks like Fiona Belly from Haunting Ground, which is a random as fuck reference. But anyway, Jill hasn't looked like Julia Voth since remake. She's been this weird deformation, and then Revolution, uh, Revelations is where it apexed, and she just was this weird, like, like squish face thing. I don't know what the fuck All right. happened there. Well, we got to call it a night. Yeah, and Claire looks like Tobey Maguire. Anyway, we'll continue Hi. this on another one. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining us, and... Uh, thank you. See you on the next one. Stay safe out there. Back and up and running. Who can say?